be a kind of exact same one, but I'm going to clean my gym. But I only need the, the top piece, so I can just switch it out to the bottom one like this. It's the exact same cut, so I just want it to look different. So the hour being 3 o'clock, I'll call this meeting of council July 12th, 2021 to order. Um, I was discussing protocol with the CAO and I'd really be happy if I was referred to as deputy mayor rather than your worship, I'll just <laughs> mention that. Um, so we have an agenda in front of us. I guess I'd ask if there's any additions or deletions. No, nope. so could I get someone to move the agenda? Deputy Mayor, I would move the agenda as presented. <laughs> Thank you, Councillor Hill. All in favor? Thank you. And we have some minutes of the regular council meeting June 28th, 2021. Would someone like to move those minutes? I'll so move. Thank you, Councillor Barkley. And are there any errors, admissions, or questions? No. All in favor of approving those minutes? Thank you. And the minutes of the agenda and priorities meeting of July 5th. Uh, would someone please move those? I'll also move. Thank you, Councillor Reberger. Any errors, admissions, or questions related to those? Seeing none, all in favor? Thank you. Uh, I guess we'll move on to item four, 4.1, CAO Becker the CAO report. Thank you, Deputy Mayor Bates. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, as the uh, report indicates, uh, town administration received a letter uh, dates down to July 29th from uh, local lawyer, Chad Evans, who's representing a list of uh, landowners uh, located in the Southwest Industrial Park. Um, the letter indicates that uh, there is some, some question and concern regarding special tax bylaw, which was put in place by council. Um, I can't even remember the date, it's probably April of 2021, 2021, sorry. Um, just on how that bylaw was developed, communicated, formulated, and um, ultimately adopted by, by council. Um, it's to do with the 61st Avenue road development projects. So what the report indicates is really for transparency that uh, council, uh, unless you tell me differently, but um, administration is going to go through that process to evaluate, research, uh, really evaluate the process, make sure it meets expectation, uh, pull all that data information together or we'll present that initially to council as, as the authority, as a governance. Um, for question comments um, that will be issued out to, to Mr. Mr. Evans following that review. So we'll, we've started that process um, and expecting to have that information uh, back to Mr. Evans uh, towards the end of July. Um, you'll likely see that information at the last regular council meeting in July in, in, in two weeks. Um, there's a few other areas of um, of information for council for for your review. Um, I would also like to announce uh, formally and publicly that the town has hired a new director of corporate services. Her name is Erica Vickers, who has been acting in term for the last several months. Um, we did go through a public process on rec on the recruitment, and uh, it's clearly Erica was 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 the top fit. Uh, for our organization and serving our community for multiple different reasons, um, largely due to um, experiences and training and ongoing training, and uh, focus on finance, insurance, risk, um, which covers, there's others, of course, but this covers the basis for corporate services. Um, so I'd like to welcome Erica formally into the organization as the director of corporate services. Um, also, with that, I'll just wait till the applause dies down, Erica. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, but I'd like to also announce that um, it's we're aware that there's a 42 team ball tournament occurring this weekend, Friday through the week, uh, Sunday. Uh, we're just finalizing the logistics into tomorrow through the rest of the week, but I thought council should be made aware at this, uh, there's going to be a lot of people in the community this coming weekend. 
Um, so yeah, we've uh, commuted onto the chamber as well, but uh, just tidying, tidying up on the uh, logistics uh, with the uh, organizing crew tomorrow. So, so yeah, it uh, came quickly. Uh, as soon as COVID was lift, lifted, uh, there's movement to start drawing people to the community, which is great. Um, other than that, uh, council, if there's any questions on, on my report or anything else, be happy to answer questions for you. So on behalf of council, I heard a couple of individuals say so, but congratulations, Erica. Um, I guess, could we have a motion and then we can, or either way, go ahead, have your questions and, and, and that sort of thing first, and then we'll do the motion to accept. So any questions to the CAO or comments about the report? Sure, I have one. Councillor Rebert. Through to the CAO, is, is that ball tournament boys and girls? Is that why it's so big or how come it's such a large tournament? Uh, Deputy Mayor to Councillor Rieberger. Um, it is a mix. I think there's about six or eight teams in the ball is what I understand. And the rest are within softball. But the letter that I received on Sunday was the reference softball. Uh, we did hear um, this morning that there was some ball tournaments, ball teams as well. More on the softball, it sounds like. Well, there's kind of, yeah, eye-opening to, to have it happen that quick, that big. Any other questions or comments? Councillor Hill. It, uh, yes, Deputy Mayor to uh, Director Vickers. Um, just uh, yeah, congratulations, that's good. And uh, now you can actually enjoy your seat not knowing the uncertainty is gone. So that's good for you, congratulations. Okay, could I have a motion to accept the CAO's report for information? I'd so move Deputy Mayor that we accept for information. Thank you, Councillor Harrison. All in favor? Carried, thank you. Um, moving on, um, the council action control. I guess, CAO, you're just usually looking for questions. Basically, if there's any update uh, questions on, again, this action control or anything else that we're busy working on, you just fire away. We'd be happy to give you updates. As you can see, a lot of, a lot of action um, occurred over the last uh, month or so. <clears throat> Deputy Mayor. I'm sorry, Councilor Hill, I didn't. Question to administration. I know it's been quite a while since uh, this topic, I think, came across our, our table, but I'm not sure if it was resolved or if it's still to be resolved, but those two standing uh, storage, uh, oil storage containers that are on the, over by Willow Ridge, they're on the south end of Innisfail. I don't know where did that end up or is that still kind of a, a non-issue or is there been, I just had a couple questions obviously from residents in Willow Ridge if where that was at. So I just wasn't sure if whereabouts it, uh, it sits right now. I know it's quite a while ago, but. Um, Deputy Mayor to Councillor Hill with we'll certainly follow up with enforcement. Um, I haven't heard that discussion for a while actually. Yeah, so well, me too. Um, I'm not, yeah, I'm not recalling really any action, but in all fairness, I'll do follow up and we'll report back to council. Yeah, I just wasn't sure if there was a resolution that it, it was, the, you know, the, they were well within the rights to keep them up or what the issue was. I know it kind of has been in the distant now, but just thought I would, we'll do a little follow up and go from there. Yeah, I'll, I'll prep for a res proper response. Councilor okay. Hill. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any other questions? I don't see any mics lit up. I, that kind of precipitated one in my mind. Um, I know we don't want to keep pushing CP because we are enjoying the, the whistle cessation, at least I am. Um, do we have an update on the crossing at Fast Gas? Because that was supposed to be temporary about three months ago and it's still very rough. Uh, yeah, uh, quick update. So we just found out today. So it was supposed to be done 1st of July, uh, but then um, they got uh, pushed to a different couple of different locations. Uh, they will be in, I believe, starting this week. 
to do 50th first. I'll have to double check, but then I would 54 as well. So, so they will be back starting this week. Okay, yep. thank you. Okay, if there's no further questions, uh, could I have a motion accepting the action control for information? <laughs> I'd so move, Deputy Mayor, that we accept for information. Thank you, Councillor Harrison. All in favor? Carried. Thank you. And the next item is a request for decision council disclosure bylaw. And I believe Vanessa is going to carry that one, or, or are you? I'll start CAO? off, with Deputy Thank Mayor, you. And, and Vanessa may add in some of that detail on the technicalities of the bylaw. So this one is a little bit different um, recommendation. It, as, you, as it reads, it's uh, not to proceed, but it's really up to council on your, your appetite. Um, so it didn't have a strong recommendation either way from administration. You can certainly lead the way with disclosure. Um, really depends on where, where you see uh, council work, how you wish council, the next council really to, to move forward with, with disclosure. Um, it's another tool um, in transparency. So it really, are we there? It's that's really the, the point. It's so could easily been you recommend to do disclosure or recommend not. So it's really take it as a grain of salt from administration. It's not a strong no, it's it's up to you on your flavor and appetite for you want to apply disclosure uh, moving forward. Um, and that's the nature of the recommendation. Um, and that's really it. So and the way the report reads is uh, if administration um, it is additional requirement for transparency and right now administration feels it's under the, the mindset that the onus is placed on the, on the elected official um, to understand requirements of being an elected official and disclose pecuniary interest as required through, through proper training and understanding of what is outlined of the expectations through the MGA. Uh, to proceed on to the, the bylaw itself and if you wish to proceed with adopting the bylaw, um, following your deliberation, um, council may by bylaw in accordance with uh, the MGA um, require such things that uh, each councillor file with a designated officer, which is with uh, CA, CAO, um, a statement of the name or the names of the councillor's family, employer, employers of the councillor, each corporation other than a distributing corporation, in which the councillor is a shareholder, director, or officer. Uh, each distributing a corporation which the council beneficiary owns voting shares, carrying out at least 10% of the voting rights attached to the voting shares of the corporation. And finally, each partnership or firm, firm of which the council is a member. And require the designated officer to compile a list of all the names who report on the statements filed with the officer and give a copy of the list of employees of the municipality indicated in the bylaw. So really, if this bylaw would be moved um, in play, if you want to, to adopt it, um, the information is only used for the purpose, what it is. We, we do not release information. We can't through FOIP legislation. So it's not released to the employees um, per se, uh, likely onto corporate services. Um, and then just any, um, I guess, any references required through, through staff, but this is not a document we would release through general employees or at all to the public. And I'll leave the bylaw as it is. I won't go through the, the meat and potatoes of the bylaw unless you wish for me to do that. Um, I'm just looking for council direction how you wish to, to proceed. Well, let's just open it for discussion then. Councillor Harrison, I see you reaching. Okay, hey, uh, thank you, Deputy Mayor Bates. Uh, <clears throat> I left uh, the other meeting sort of not wondering, but uh, under the impression that we were going to go ahead. I, I think we should go ahead uh, with disclosure. It's, uh, I think it's going to come somewhere down the road. And this is just another step to uh, open and honest transparency. So I would support the, uh, the bylaw to, uh, to move forward on, a, on the council disclosure bylaw. Yeah, sorry, Councillor Rupert. Sure, I, I think I agree that um, we should be proactive on this one and, and uh, go ahead with it. And uh, I just think it's 
it will be beneficial in the future, um, not knowing who's going to be on the council, but I just think it would be, to me, it just seems to kind of make sense. Um, I, I'm also very much in favor. I'm just wondering about the logistics CEO Becker, if, you know, somebody does the, fills out the disclosure, at what point then is it on someone else other than the counselor to, to disclose if there's a decision being made that they have a pecuniary interest? Is that going to be something that's, you know, shared with the rest of council or would you step in and say, well, wait a second, you have a pecuniary interest or like what, what changes, I guess, from, from right. I mean, we should be doing that now, but. <laughs> That's a good question, uh, Deputy Mayor to Councilor Barkley. So what I foresee is um, administration is to advise. So if there's something of we identified of potential pecuniary interest, we I advise the mayor. Um, I, um, or even directly with the with the counselor that hey you may pose, but it's up to the counselor to declare. So it's up to that. It's, it's their responsibility to. That's ultimately their decision um, if they do or do not, and it's up to up to council how they wish to proceed from that. But um, in my chair, a CAO would be if I have an understanding that there's potential conflict for a, a counselor, I would advise. Uh, my job is to advise to. To, to mitigate litigation um, on council, but I, I, I would not be considered myself a pecuniary watchdog, but utilize um, you know, a knowledge base and understanding with information before me to, to help council be successful. So I don't see it changing, but a little bit more detail to help a counselor um, with a little bit more detail of what's going occurring on the outside of being an elected official. Sure, yeah. And Deputy Mayor, through to CEO Becker, thank you for that. And <clears throat> I think even, you know, doing that disclosure may make councillors more aware mm -hmm. of, of, um, of that as well. So yes, I, I'm definitely in favor. And I think more accountability and transparency there is, um, it's always a good thing. So thank you. Councillor Hill, do you have a comment? Yes, thank you. Uh, yeah, I, I do believe that would be advantageous for us to proceed with that. Um, just another another uh, layer to us trying to be uh, everything above board um, and, and just keeping a level playing field. And, and also it's <clears throat> with us being, have gone through uh, code of conduct um, um, consultants. Uh, I, I think it's just something that we want to stay away from if we can, by all, by all uh, you know, if at all possible. So I think this would be just maybe one of those things that might prevent anything in the future. And, I think it's fully acceptable to expect a counselor to adhere to this. Okay, so um, my personal view is, uh, I, I think it was recommended somewhat by Sage, was it not? And um, so I would support it. I didn't ask uh, Mayor Romaine, I didn't really have a lot of time to talk to him prior to this. So I didn't really get an opinion from him. Um, so if we, if we chose to proceed, which it sounds like this group would like to, um, does it make any difference to the folks that are here that we do it now, or should we wait a couple of weeks and let the mayor be involved in it or it's, I know we have a quorum. I'm just, it's just a question, a rhetorical question. Uh, Deputy Mayor, uh, I would obviously value our worship's uh, input, but I, I do feel that uh, it would go ahead anyways. So I, I would be comfortable with proceeding with it today. Okay, and I did ask him if, you know, he, he did say he didn't have any strong opinions on anything he saw on the agenda. So I don't think that would, uh, he just, we didn't just discuss it specifically. So I guess if there's no further comments, I would entertain should we just a question deputy mayor so it's certainly clear uh clear of what uh what your expectations are which is great um so just looking in now it's a bylaw itself if there's any concerns with the wording in there and it's pretty mm. basic uh bylaw um and if you're there if it looks appropriate then i guess the question would be when would the bylaw come effective you can have a future date out of when that bylaw would become effective is it effective immediately does it apply to you, this council effective immediately. 
um, or is it based on you know, initiating uh, following the election? Um, so yeah, just consider those, those questions, I guess. Comments, I guess my personal thoughts are if we figure it's good for the goose, it's probably good for the gander. We would, I don't see why we wouldn't uh, do it now, like, and, and have ourselves declare. Um, just a question, uh, Deputy Mayor, through to CEO Becker. So just, just looking at the form, like, do we want disclosure around, I don't know, business ownership in the community or land ownership in the community, that kind of thing? It's more so around, you know, publicly traded companies and Or maybe that's part B, like firms or partnerships in which councillors, it says member. Councillor Burke, please question. I'm just trying to think of disclosure of actual property. Well, or if you're a business owner, what do you do? And like, is that something that we want to or business, have disclosed or business partners? Uh, yeah, I'm not saying we do or don't. I'm just two companies or... curious what council thinks of that. And, you know, I'll be open on myself. I, I have some rental properties and you know, that wouldn't fall into this form anywhere. <clears throat> Shouldn't say I have a sum. It sounds like I'm yeah, <laughs> the, the mega real thing. But yeah. Are you suggesting? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Are, <laughs> Councillor Barkley, are you, are you suggesting we add to the form? Is that yes. that's okay? I just, I don't, I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah I just uh, where my head is just on. I'm just trying to figure out is there potential conflict? I guess there is. I, I guess you would know more as a council on whether it's personal property or personal use or business property. I guess there's always some realm of pecuniary interest possibilities. It depends on what, what's going on, what circumstances are around the business at that time. One, one example, just so it's on the being discussed, is uh, obviously the road. Um, I, am, I have a shop on 49th Ave, and that's going to getting uh, it's getting road improvements. Um, so that you know, perception basis could be you know, like if that was something that was if I was pushing for it as an agenda item, to, you know, for whatever it is. I don't know. I just I didn't, but it's one of those things that could be perception based that, oh, he has a property there and he's pushing for an improvement in his area. Now, if I didn't disclose that I had that location or was the owner of it, it could be perceived that, you know, it, I'm just, I'm just trying to, I guess, if we're going to go ahead with something like this, I would like to make sure it's got the depth that needs to do its job and, and uh, make sure it's going to be, you know, true to its definition, I guess. That's just, that's just an example. Uh, for discussion. So I think during um, some of the different training and stuff that we've had, when these discussions have come up, it's been that it's those type of things are for the good of the greater community. So they're not really considered right. pecuniary. So right. I don't, I personally don't feel that that is something we would need to add to this form. So thank you, Councillor Reverter. Did, did we? Did we use this as a template from some other municipality? Okay. And they actually have it in, in place there. Oh, okay. Thank you. So I guess Councillor Barkley, is there any further? Um, I guess I would defer to CEO Becker to make, maybe we do want to delay it a couple of weeks and maybe you want to want to uh, give some more thought or do do a little more insight into what other communities do and I, I mean I, I don't want to go overboard that's silly like we need to elect people that are honest and will disclose regardless <clears throat> so I, yeah, I think. Councillor Barkley's uh, comments I just in the evaluation research there's not a lot of 
code of conduct bylaws, or sorry, disclosure bylaws. I've only found two in this province. And this one's from Edmonton and the other one was Okotoks where they wanted to put them on the website for all the world to see, so. No. It went this direction. <laughs> So uh, Deputy Mayor through to say, oh, Becker again. So maybe part B, like counselors, employers, maybe that would be counselors, business or employers or something. Cause it, cause if somebody's self-employed. Is that regarding businesses, is that not what part C and D references more on? Well, the but part C and D, I mean, you're talking about publicly traded in, in part D, right? So if you have 10% more voting shares in a publicly traded corporation, you would disclose. If you do, you're probably not sitting here. <laughs> and um, part C, C, part C, 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 yeah, part C, yeah, part C, yeah. Non-distributing, I suppose, yeah. Even E maybe. And, and I don't want to enter yeah. your debate on, yeah. on land piece, but you can easily add the word lands or land partnerships, or if that's what, something you wish to do within probably one of those categories. Um, yeah, like you know, not everybody's in a corporation, right? It may be sole proprietorship or partnership, and there could be other forms of other structures, organizational structures, but. But isn't sorry, um, Councilor Barkley? Isn't a corporation even a sole proprietorship? Isn't that a reference of a corporation? No, no. The sole proprietorship, partnership, and corporations are three different structures. Oh. Okay, yeah. So is that something Council would consider then? Not just corporations, but add the other definitions of. Does Part E cover that, where it's firms or partnerships in which councillor is a member? It says member. You know, member almost sounds like a nonprofit. Yeah, yeah, like a rotary or something like so, that. So maybe just change that word to. This is a firm or partnership in which councillor is a owner rather than a member. Or has a financial has a financial interest. Interest, because there could be somebody that's yeah. just borrowed from someone yeah. else or whatever. There's yeah. lots of, in a small yeah. town, yeah. especially. Yeah. I think that would cover it. A financial it. interest. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. So, and where would that, again, just for clarity, where would that be located? Under Part E. Okay. Strike the word member. Okay. And replace it with. Has a fun. has a financial interest, so okay. In, in which firms or partnership in which the councillor has a financial interest? Yeah, I like I like that. So I guess I ask the question again: Do we, do we want to do that today, or do we want to let this? even to make sure these words are right and. Yeah, we can come back. If, if we're prepared, I'm prepared to, okay. to proceed Whatever today, but I just, just asking that question. Okay. Um, I'll move that we adopt Councilor Disclosure Bylaw 1674, 2021 as amended. So that would give it first reading, is that? Yes, as, as amended, yeah. Any questions or further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Carried. Uh, would someone like to give bylaw? I'm not seeing the number right now. <laughs> 1674, 2021, uh, second reading. I'll swim over here. Deputy Mayor, I'm <laughs> your worship, sorry. It's a habit. <laughs> No, I just prefer it. Thank you. Um, any further discussion related to second reading? Yes, Deputy Mayor Bates. Uh, 
Should we add a, an effective date somewhere in, in here, Todd, or? I'm your worship with Councillor Harrison, or sorry, Deputy Mayor. <laughs> um, so you don't need to say a date. If So if there's no date, it's when it's signed. So okay. it would be effective immediately based on the signature of okay. the Deputy Mayor and the CAO. Thank you. Any further questions? All in favor of giving it second reading. Carried. Would someone like to move that we proceed to third reading? Deputy Mayor, I would. <laughs> Thank you, Councillor Hill. All in favor? Carried. And third reading. Deputy Mayor, I so move that we give third reading to Council Disclosure Bylaw 1674-2021. Thank you, Councillor Harrison. Last call for questions or discussion? All in favor? Carried. So that would be done. I think the next item on the agenda would be Director Vickers, um, Corporate Services Budget Citizen Perspective Survey. Thank you. Um, so last week I did bring forth a, an information report regarding a citizen satisfaction survey to be conducted this fall. Um, Council did pass a motion to complete a citizen's perspective surveys with Ipsos in the fall of 2021. Um, it is best to conduct the survey prior to the municipal election and we still have ample time if we do start right away um, Ipsos has given us a draft timeline to complete. So if we're able to finalize the questionnaire by July 30th, so that's all the 15 questions um, and the two open-ended questions, if we are able to finalize that and send it off to Ipsos by then, then we would have the draft detailed report by September 30th. So that means that they would be making phone calls to all the public between August 10th and 22nd. Um, so we would be looking to fund this, um, or sorry, this can be funded from either reserves or the 21, 2021 contingency that has a balance of $26,730. And due to anticipated future costs for the rest of the year, um, administration does recommend that the cost be funded from the 2021 contingency. And I do have a breakdown of the costs. So the, the bulk of the cost is for that survey programming, pre-testing and data collection. So that is the time it takes to, for them to do their phone calls. So I am looking for a motion that council approves the citizens perspective survey to be completed by Ipsos in 2021 for $22,000 to be funded from the 2021 contingency. Do I have someone that's willing to make that motion? Yes. Deputy Mayor, I would make said motion. Thank you, Councillor Hill. Discussion. Deputy Mayor, through to Director Vickers, you did recommend last time to do this every two years. Is that kind of the plan going forward? Yes. Yeah, so you could yeah. do it every two or four years. Okay. Um, we did have a chat administration when we do think that every two years <coughs> does make sense, yeah. just so you can watch those trends sure. right, going okay. forward. Thank you. So that would be decided partway through the next term, like, or you wouldn't necessarily dictate that that's the schedule at this point? No, no, but I, I would assume at budget time, we would include it in the budget for right. 2023. Yeah. Um, and then council would decide at right. budget time whether or not that was something that they wanted right. to, to take undertake they could right? choose not to or, or they could for yeah. sure okay. yeah they could any other questions or comments seeing none um all in favor of the motion carried okay correspondence is the next item on the agenda So everyone did their homework and reading. Uh, Is there any? Yeah. 
Councilor Harrison. <laughs> Thank you, Deputy Mayor Bates. Uh, the uh, number one item here, the 2021 AUMA Dedicated Chief Administrative Officer Award. The AUMA in one of their newsletters just recently uh, sent out they're doing their annual awards. And there's, there's three awards actually. Uh, there's one for the environmental and one for senior leadership. And this one in particular for the dedicated Chief Administrative Officer Award for, there's one <clears throat> uh, given out annually uh, throughout the province to an administrative officer who has gone above and beyond for his municipality and has contributed and, and has done a great job. And I think in our, in our municipality in the short time that I've, I've been on council, I've, I've seen the work and dedication and uh, things that our CAO has done. And I look back on the three years that I haven't been here and he's done just a, a fantastic job. So I would look to my council colleagues to, to have a resolution or support for the completion of this award and submission uh, to the AWMA for consideration for the dedicated Chief Administrative Officer Award for our CAO, uh, Mr. Becker. So I'm looking for your support and endorsement. Okay, so um, Council Barkley, I see him. Deputy Mayor through to, is he blushing? <laughs> CAO Becker's <laughs> blushing. <laughs> I'm afraid of a defeated vote. <laughs> I just thought it was the sunburn from this weekend's ride. <laughs> so, Councillor Harrison, I, I would be pleased to to make the motion that we um, that we move forward nominating CEO Becker for this award. And do you also want? two other resolutions, CEO Becker, for the other awards? Because I know, I think that's required on the application form as well. Or do you want to leave that? No, so? I, I, the intention was, I, I didn't get all the information in, but, mm -hmm. but yeah, that's, there is two other awards, as Councillor Harrison mentioned. Yeah. I would certainly ask council to consider them. Um, it's for the dedicated senior leadership mm -hmm. award. Um, mm -hmm. And that, that's well-deserving for sure. Um, environmental award as well is certainly applicable to our, what the work you, you're doing as council as well. Okay. Well, Deputy Mayor, I'll amend my motion then and I will make a motion that we move forward with um, applying for all three of those awards. Okay, is that clear to Vanessa? Right. I'll make a motion that we move forward applying for the environmental award, the senior leadership board and the CAO award yeah we'll work on all the details and now we'll see what the vote is yeah well <laughs> yeah. <laughs> takes the blush out. so i think the, <laughs> the question i uh, vanessa had was do we need specifics for the environmental award i swear i cannot recall but... well we would create that well the, what do you mean specifics like there, there's an application for them that like it has all the categories on, on the application form. Yeah. I, I gave you a copy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that should should be appropriate. Okay. So the way I'm understanding it, we're just moving that we uh, make application for those three awards and we'll, we'll get the details to, to be determined here. Yeah. Everybody's... Uh, Councilor Reberger, you have a... Well, I wanted to say I was in favor of two out of the three, so this kind of complicates <laughs> it. <laughs> I, I'm assuming that comment is a bit of in jest, because otherwise it could... It could. Well, we'll see how you vote. <laughs> Any other comments or questions? All in favor of the motion. Carried. Details to be determined. We, we didn't get railroaded here. We actually had some sub communication prior to the meeting. Um, is there any other uh, specifics arising out of the correspondence? Deputy Mayor, through to CAO Becker, the AUMA convention meeting with Minister 
will we be requesting some time? Is and is that with Minister Municipal Affairs or all ministers or? Uh, Deputy Mayor to Councilor Harrison, it's just for the Minister of Municipal Affairs. So will we be requesting some time with it, that gentleman? The nature of the correspondence is that question and I would recommend council to make that application. Uh, we do have some discussion to occur regarding um, Lagoon lands, for example. So I, I think to proceed and advance that request. So would you require a resolution to yes, please. generate that? Okay, I so move that we direct administration to make a letter for a meeting with, at the AUMA convention, meeting with the Minister of Municipal Affairs. Thank you, Councillor Harrison. Any discussion? Um, didn't I see on the application, you have to tell them what you want to talk about? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So do we know what we want to talk about? Um, do you want me to answer that? Uh, please yeah, please we'll do. Yeah. Deputy Mayor, uh, Councilor Reberger, yeah, there is some, some items. One item specifically would be regarding the small community fund and the Southwest industrial lands. Um, I always say you don't have to wait till AUMA because you get like 15, 20 minutes. Um, in the very near future, we'll come back to council with a program that was developed through through Stuart's leadership to help with some advocacy work in your discussions. Uh, we'll bring that back to you in the near future for, for a review. Um, but you can certainly advocate, uh, initiate the advocacy immediately, um, but book in this time with, without specific topic. You, would, you don't want too many because of the 15, 20 minutes, but it might be a, a good touch point uh, either to review what are already advocated for or to introduce that topic at that point. Okay, so call the question. All in favor? Carried. Thank you. Anything else? Could I have a motion to accept the rest of the correspondence for information? I will, I will so move. Thank you, Councillor Reberger. All in favor? Carried, thank you. Um, around the table, council reports. Councilor Hill. <clears throat> thank you, Deputy Mayor Bates. Uh, I don't have too much to report, um, but I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. <laughs> so wordy. Um, Councilor Barkley. Yeah, last week uh, we had a inter municipal development plan meeting with Red Deer County and also had MPC last week. I'd also like to say congratulations to Director Vickers, that's wonderful. And thank you to CEO Becker and operations for kind of helping with um, a request that the Horseshoe Club had on the weekend for their tournament as, as well. Councillor Reber. Uh, last week I also attended that Inter-Municipal Development Plan meeting and the Historical Village met for the first time in a few months on Wednesday night. And they were very pleased with the Canada Day event and the positive comments that were generated from it. And uh, surprisingly, quite a few of the people that uh, commented on they liked it being just a, a lot simpler, less regimented, no speeches type of event. So. <laughs> They are digesting on that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Councillor Reberger. Councillor Harrison. Thank you, uh, Deputy Mayor Bates. I also attended the IDP meeting on July the 5th. Uh, and I'm moving forward on that. Uh, congratulations to Erica uh, for the second time. That, uh, we wish you every success and good luck in the new position. Um, yeah. We also attended uh, the HMCA multiplex uh, discussion with minor lacrosse and it was an hour of very, it was very good discussion. I don't believe there was a minute that wasn't occupied. He had some really good comments from uh, the lacrosse people. So uh, that's moving forward also. So it'll be interesting to see 
once uh, they ha the group has everything put together and it comes back is what their ideas and recommendations are. So looking forward to that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I didn't have too much going on. I had MPC last week. I did have a question, to, to, I'm not sure to who. Um, our current status of the flags at half mast, um, I'm, I'm kind of, I've had a couple of people ask me and I'm not real sure where, where, where our status is now. Uh, Deputy Mayor Bates, um, we did look um, federally, Canada flag to remain in half. That's what the federal government's doing. Um, I did notice in my travels on the weekend, uh, many municipalities still have their flags at half mast um, until further notice. There's, I haven't heard of any protocols on when and, but just- I'm Yeah, sure. well, that's kind yeah. of my question. Like, when does it change or, because traditionally, I mean, we could have something else happen in the next month or two, and then you're already there. Well, I guess to be determined. Yeah, I, administratively, I don't, I don't have any any really pro protocols that we've noticed uh, when that would occur, and I, right. I think it's associated with you know some recent findings, of course, and likely. Yep. So it's just ongoing. So um, it's not my intention to raise them until. I have clear understanding of what's going on with other municipalities or council wishes for me to, to, to write, raise the flags. Okay, well, we all have that understanding now. Um, I guess we'll go around the table further, uh, Director Kennedy. Okay. Nothing uh, major to update, just a very busy week with uh, construction going on. Um, all of our major capital are underway. Um, yeah, you'll see a lot of construction happening this week. It's gonna be a very busy. And then with the closing of the CP rail tracks, um, yeah, very busy. Find your way around. Uh, Director Vickers. I don't have too much to say. <laughs> Nothing exciting happened. No, just kidding. Um, just thank you for all your congratulations and well, well wishes. And I'm just really excited to take on the new role and, and move forward. So thank you. Okay, thank you. Ken. There you go. Vanessa. CAO Becker, anything else? And then I guess traditionally we would look at the internet and see if there's somebody out there that has something to say, if you could raise your hand, if you're out there. Nope, nothing. So we'll move on to upcoming events. Pretty routine, pretty light with July and hot summer. Anybody have any comments or questions? Okay. Nope, um, Councillor Barkley. Your worship, it's just so much easier. I know it is, but it just <laughs> feels funny. I'm curious, I guess just a, a question for um, Director Kennedy. Um, are, are we doing odd even day watering? So, like, that's a standard, right? Okay, somebody was asking the other day, I. I thought we were, so, okay, thank you. Uh, Deputy Mayor, Councilor Berkeley, it's listed right in our utilities bylaw, correct? That's effective of certain dates, uh, odds and evens. Yeah, somebody was asking, and I'm, you know, it's not easy for people to yeah. find it, so thank you. Anything else? Do we traditionally uh, accept, oh, we don't accept information mentioning the watering one that's come to my mind if we continue through the summer with what this crazy heat that we've got i would imagine we might see a surplus in our sewer because i know i'm putting a lot of water on on the lawn and paying for it so that we can determine that when we get there i guess if this point, I would look for a motion to go in camera. 
I so move, Deputy Mayor, that we move in camera. Sorry, I got whiplash there. I was looking to the left and came from the right. Thank you, Councillor Harrison. <laughs> All in favor? Carried. I guess we'll take a. Your Worship, in 